Hey designer, Alex here. Welcome to this course about Inception Design System for Adobe XD. If you want to check out the full playlist with all the videos, make sure to click here or to click down in the description below. Link is going to be there. So enjoy this lesson. Dark mode is extremely important for accessibility purposes and also for styling purposes because majority of people, especially in today's day and age, like to have some sort of a dark mode, especially at night, because it's much more pleasing to the eye. But what's Inception Design System like with dark mode? Well, let me show you. So here we are once again inside of the master file of Inception Design System and dark mode is simply a component state. So if I take you to any one of these and let's say this one, for example, so we are at hero large for the templates. If I select that template and click right here, we have a dark mode of that particular template and it's exactly the same for all of them. So every single template out there has it. So if I select, for example, this navigation, let me click once again and click right here, we have a dark mode for that particular navigation. So it works exactly the same throughout all of these. But if I take you right here, it works exactly the same for flowcharts. So whether that's a desktop flowcharts or mobile flowchart, it works exactly the same. So if I click right here, you can see that we have a dark mode of flowcharts as well. So how can you actually work with these dark modes? It's actually quite simple because if I take you once again to let's say right here, and click inside just so that you can see it a little bit better. So this is features one and you can see that the default state is light. This is done with a purpose. So every single default state of every template and every flowchart which contains the dark mode, which is the secondary state is in purposely done uh, with these light background colors. So this what you can see right here is the default state. So any kind of change that you make, you should make it inside of the default state before it transition to default state. So let me show you that what I mean. So here we are at the default state for this features large features one. So if I click right here instead of inception design system, let me create something like this is a dark mode like this. And then if I click outside, like so and go back to the dark mode, you can see that it changed and updated there. But if I, for example, go back, hit control zero, two times to go back to the inception design system. And then I switch to dark mode and say something like dark, dark mode rules, for example, click outside and then click back to the default state you can see that it didn't change. So this is the key right here. You have to make your changes inside of the main state and not inside of this dark mode state. So if I hit undo change state, if I hit undo change state and once again, undo edit text. So it takes me back to my inception design system. If you are making the change, if you're uh, creating an image, if you're putting an image and intending of using both states, which is key right here. So if you just want to create dark states, then that's completely fine. You can switch to dark state for any one of these components. You can make your changes and that's completely fine. But if you want to have default state and the dark state at the same time, then I would recommend you to uh, make your changes in inside of the default state. So inside of this light state, and it's going to transition all of these states and all of these changes into the dark state. So that's the idea right here. And every kind of UI out there today has both light and dark states and dark modes. So users can easily switch between light and dark. So anyways, you're going to make these changes for light modes as well as the dark modes. So why not creating them in the light mode as well? So that's the logic behind this. As I said, every single UI out there has both light modes and dark modes. So when you make a change to the light mode, it's going to easily transition to the dark mode as well. So once again, every, every time that you make some sort of change, any change, make sure to always change it inside of the light mode. It's going to cascade to the dark mode. And one thing I want to show you finally is this. So inside of our main colors, we have the dark color. This dark color is for the background of all dark states of all dark modes. So when you make a change right there, it's going to update every single dark mode color out there. So for example, if I switch right here, 
come back to this one once again because it's the closest one click on the dark mode so this color is actually this background color and this background color is in every single dark mode out there so once again when you update it right here but make sure to update it right here it's going to update automatically across the design system on every single one of these for the background color for the dark mode so just keep that in mind in the next video, we are going to talk about animated icons and why XD is awesome when you're using animated icons. So I'll see you there. Thank you for watching this video. If you want to check out the previous one from this playlist, make sure to click right here. Or to check out the next one from this playlist, make sure to click right here. If you want to see full playlist for all videos from this course, make sure to check down in the description below. Link for the full playlist is going to be down there in case you missed something.